His idea of Broadacre City was to evolve this concept of farming, of parks, of um, all the different uh, elements of society into this continuous parkland. And he said that Broadacre City is everywhere but nowhere. Broadacre City was an attempt to, to uh, make it a more fine-grained thing so that all these, uh, these uh, parts were available to all families and all individuals within a reason reasonable travel distance. So you weren't going uh, two-hour commutes from uh, home to a, to a city to work. It wasn't that he intended to have anyone copy the present model. It was just that he hoped to inspire people to live in a different way than they'd been living. L.A. was always this, this vast wasteland in between that I never really paid much attention to. So I think people fall in love with it because it's like a, a rose coming out of the concrete. I think that our work tends to, to have a sense of being um, fragile and a sense of being fleeting, a sense of it doesn't have the kind of hallmarks of permanence. It's like music and art form. They all have music as rhythm, art form as some sort of proportions. So I think you start even with that and you come up with some new forms that have those rhythms. I would hate it to be Manhattan because you know who can afford to live there, not the people that live in Detroit, that's for sure, not all of us anyway. I also tend to think that public art is um, a very interesting aspect to the design cities. Disneyland was one of the highest forms of urban planning that we've ever seen. Preservation is an important component of sustainability. 